Hello all, this is Ryan. I'm going to discuss the question, does teaching imply learning? Uh, this question is really getting at worldviews, epistemologies, and paradigms. I think teaching and learning, in other words, mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. Thus, I'm debating if a better question would be, how do worldviews, epistemologies, and paradigms affect the way people understand the relationship between teaching and learning? But, to answer the question at hand, I believe that A, a teacher always has him or herself as a student, B, a student always has him or herself as a teacher, and C, that human beings are always learning about something, thus there is always a teacher present. I consider then that teaching is synonymous with learning, therefore teaching implies learning. From a pragmatic or generalized standpoint, yes, I think, of course, teaching implies learning because A, teaching doesn't have the connotation of being done in a vacuum, and B, teaching doesn't have the connotation of being done poorly. From any other standpoint, however, the answer becomes it depends because I'd have to listen to what the other person thinks. On page 53, for example, Nottings includes B. Othanel Smith's comment that we can study teaching in isolation, in isolation from learning, but that we must look at students and learning when we, are, when we are interested in successful teaching. That's on page 53. To Smith, then, teaching needs to be considered in terms of its effect on students. Dewey, however, on page 49, suggests that learning doesn't require a teacher since learning is something that the pupil has to do himself and for himself, and the initiative to learn lies with the learner. So does the word teaching imply good teaching or bad teaching? Does it imply an audience of the self or an audience of two or more pupils? Does it imply a transference of a predicted set of content or skills? Does the word learning imply an external teacher? For me, I guess the answer is that it depends on who you ask. So for me, teaching does imply learning, and I'd use my own beliefs as well as a pragmatic stance on the terms to defend my answer.